Hey, Fred Lam here, and in this video training, I want to share with you the step-by-step -step blueprint on how you can create your first Facebook lead ads in 2017. Now, a year ago, I actually released a video in YouTube, which is similar to this one, talking about Facebook lead ads. But back then, it was in 2016, so there are some changes that has happened in 2017, so that's why I'm recording the 2017 edition of Facebook lead ads. But before we get into the step-by-step -step blueprint to show you how to create it, here's what you're going to learn in this video. You're going to see the most recent Facebook advertising strategy that Facebook has released for lead generation. So basically lead ads. The second thing that you're going to learn is you're going to watch over my shoulder step by step on how you can actually create a campaign on Facebook to use this new strategy and you can actually get started right away by the end of this video. Last but not least, Facebook lead ad is one of the best method for building your email list for a webinar registration and also lead generation for local businesses. This is actually for myself. I've been using lead ads ever since it has been released. And at a lot of times I've been getting leads at a very shocking price that not a lot of people could actually get. And I'll show you a screenshot in just a minute. Now, this new advertising strategy on Facebook, again, it's called Lead Ads. It's actually three steps. It's very simple. The user, all they have to do is just click on the link or the ad based on subscribe, learn more, or download. And what happens is that when someone click on it, they're not directed to a landing page. They are actually prompt in a in-browser window, which Facebook actually pre-populates the Facebook address of the email user right inside this pop-up. And all they have to do is just click on the word submit and that lead is automatically yours. Now, I've been testing this ever since it got started and it was in late 2015, around there, um, that's when it was first released for beta users and they were actually releasing it only available in the Power Editor. So as a Facebook marketer, a person that spends a lot of money with Facebook, I all of a sudden tried and really see if this method really works. And the results, again, are shocking. I actually ran the same ad, the same campaign, all right? So, so the same product, the same ad, and the only difference is the objective. One was website conversions. The other one is basically lead generation. And I was able to get my cost per lead down to over 50%. I was originally paying $10 a lead. Now I'm only paying $4.16. Now keep in mind, that's roughly over a year ago. But lately, I've been doing a lot of testing with Facebook lead ads and I was now or I am now getting leads as low as 58 cents. Now, I'm not showing you a screenshot where it only have like 10 opt-ins. We're talking about 295 leads at 58 cents a piece. I have almost 600 leads at a dollar 22. So as we all know, the less you pay for a lead, the more money you're going to make from the back end. Now, again, the results are not just spoken by me. There are a lot of other big companies out there like Sona, which was um, featured in Facebook. They said that this app product has taken our customer acquisition efforts on Facebook to the next level. Lead ads have driven robust volume while maintaining exceptionally low acquisition costs up to 50% less than comparable ad platforms. We are incredibly excited to continue scaling with this product. And it's actually from the marketing manager at this company. So it's not just my results. There are other, other companies out there that simply say lead ad is really the way to go. Now, here's what you need to know though when it comes to lead ads. It is a new objective in Facebook that revolutionizes how advertisers get leads. Listen, Facebook actually knows that majority of the advertisers on Facebook actually want to acquire a lead. So that's why they went ahead and invest all the money and infrastructure to create this ad objective. And to be real honest with you, 
Facebook has been really pushing this as hard as they can because a lot of advertisers are seeing results. So if you actually got a Facebook rep like I do, you'll be actually being pitched or being sold to try to use lead ads because it is a form of advertising that is really producing results right now. Now, again, lead ads is a hassle-free way for your audience to provide you with all the information you'll need. Facebook will actually pre-populate all the data for you. So users can actually edit it before they submit. But listen, let's, at the end of the day, a lot of people sometimes have fat thumbs like me. I sometimes write my email or type my email on a phone and there's going to be typo and I never receive an email. But with Facebook lead ads, because Facebook take the user's login email address and actually pre-populates it, the user just have to click on submit and that lead will automatically be yours. And again, it's the best method to build your email list, inquire about your business, claiming a coupon, and best of all, webinar registration. So here's how it really works. On the right-hand side of the screen right now, you'll see an ad. This is basically a typical Facebook ad, but in reality, this is actually a Facebook lead ad. When your audience sees your ad in their mobile newsfeed or desktop, Okay, right column ads actually do not have this function yet. It's only available on mobile newsfeed and desktop. So when they see it, audience just need to tap on the ad or click on down or just click on download or whatever, um, or even subscribe or whichever um, call to action that you use. When they actually tap this button or click on it or click on the ad, this window pops up and the user's information is actually pre-populated in the fields that you have set to collect. In this case scenario, it's only the email address. So this email address will automatically pre-populate from my Facebook account. Then the user would just need to actually click on submit and all those information will be collected and stored in a hidden folder inside your Facebook account. And once the person actually submit the information, users are prompt to a Facebook confirmation screen. And at that point, when the person click on visit www.iperacademy.com, that's really where the thank you page is. So with lead ads, you actually eliminated the landing page. So you bypass the landing page, the person simply just click on the button and they are prompted email form and they basically click on submit and they're gonna basically have that lead stored and then they can click again to actually visit your thank you page. So that's basically the 411 on Facebook lead ads. Now I'm actually gonna show you the step-by-step -step setup on how you can actually create your lead ads. Now, lead ad objective was originally available only in the Power Editor when they have released this. But for the last several months, and I'm recording this video as of February 2017, for the last three to four months, they have finally released this fully into the Ads Manager. So you can actually do this inside the Ads Manager and you don't have to do it through the Power Editor. Now, one thing that you have to note, before you create your first lead ads, you must have the following items in place. Number one, you need your privacy policy link. All right, that's very, very important. So you have to get your link on your website that basically hosts your privacy policy link. The second is having a confirmation page URL, and we call this thank you page. So you need that URL at hand. So these are two additional things you need besides the regular typical Facebook ad things that you need like images, text, copy, etc. You need these two additional things. So once you have it, all you have to do is just go to Facebook, and I'm going to go into Facebook right now. Once you click on create ad inside your ads manager, you'll be brought into the screen. And I just made this bigger. So on here, under the middle part where it says consideration, you'll see a new objective that says lead generation. When you click on lead generation, it will automatically basically tell Facebook that, okay, we want to go after lead ads. So I'm going to do Fred Lam FB lead ad tests. All right, our sample. Then we just click on continue. Now, again, it's basically like a typical Facebook ad setup. You choose your page. So I'm going to choose my Fred Lamb page. And if you guys have not liked or followed me on Facebook, please be sure to do that. Now, if this is your first time running Facebook lead ads, you need to make sure that you have to accept 
the Facebook lead as terms, which is on this page. I've already accepted it, so you don't have to worry, but you just click on view terms. Then you fill out the, audi uh, the audience like exactly what you normally do. So in my case, I'm just going to go everyone who lived in United States. Now again, you'll see how I would set up a Facebook ad right now. I'm going to go after English. All my demographics are usually men. And I'm going to go after, let's say, Facebook. Um, let's go power editor. People that are interested in power editors, all right? Or Facebook for business. There you go. Facebook for business. That's what I wanted to do. It's over. It's 540,000 reach. All right. Great stuff. Then when you scroll down to here, again, I would honestly suggest you to split these up to go after, let's see, all mobile, mobile only. So I will only go after mobile only. I won't even go after desktop. I would only go after mobile to get it started. And then if you guys got mobile to work, that's when you go after desktop. But just start with mobile first, all right? Go with mobile to a daily budget of however many money you want. I always say start with $5 per day, okay? Leave everything as is, and Facebook will actually optimize your ad based on leads. Keep everything out of this and click continue. Then it's basically a typical way of setting up your ad. It can be a single image ad, it can be a video ad, it can be whatever you want. So I'm just gonna say we're gonna go after a single image ad, and you can actually upload a new image, which we're not gonna waste time doing that. Then you just fill these out, and I'm just gonna say uh, free. Uh, white paper shows you how Fred Lamb creates his Facebook lead ads. Oh, that's too long. Free white paper on Facebook lead ads. And we say how I, um, a step-by-step -step blueprint on how I used Facebook lead ads to generate um, leads at less than 58 cents per lead. Download now, just click the button below. All right, and the call to action is gonna be different. If you're using lead ads, you have a different call to action. It's gonna be apply now, download, get quote, learn more, and subscribe. In this case, I'm gonna click on download. Here, I'm gonna say uh, free, White paper shows you how you can master Facebook lead ads. All right, display URL, you put in your website. I can, I'm gonna push starting from zero.com. And then make sure, okay, you track all conversions from my Facebook pixel. So you still wanna see if you're getting sales after your lead. So you wanna make sure that you track all your conversion for your Facebook pixel. Once your ad is done, there's going to be a new thing that says lead form, okay? In this lead form, what you want it to do is actually add a new lead form. So I'm gonna click on add new lead form. And on here, I'm gonna make this smaller. On here, you can now have an option to have a welcome screen. So it's kind of like a landing page. That's what it is, it's a welcome screen. Now I've tested this before, um, I see that it really doesn't make a difference and you don't want users to actually tap a couple more times because the more pages you have in your funnel, the lesser your conversion rate is going to be. So I'm going to actually turn that off. I'm going to name this Fred Lamb Sample. All right. And besides asking for the name, you can actually ask for a lot more things. So you can ask for a full name, email address. So for me, I'm just going to ask for a full name. Uh, sorry, for email address. And you can ask for all these information over here, last name, street, state, country, zip, anything you want, or you can even ask custom questions over here, all right? How old are you? And you can say like 18, 15, and then people can actually select it in the drop down menu. So it's very handy, especially if you are a salesman, basically if you're selling a car, you can actually run a ad to get people to actually get a price quote from you. So there are a lot of creativity things that you can do. In my case, we're just asking for the email address, so I'm just enabling email. Then the privacy policy page, very important. I'm gonna say privacy policy in here, and then I'm just gonna to go to my website, zero.com, and then I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, 
and I'm just gonna grab my privacy policy URL, which I don't have anything yet, so that's why I'm not gonna submit this. I'm gonna put in the link where the privacy policy URL is. So how a privacy policy your uh, page actually look like will be something like this. All right, these are basically a privacy policy saying how you're gonna be handling these leads because these are personal information, okay? Then just finish that and the thank you screen, all you have to do is just put in your thank you page URL, all right? And then basically click finish and you're done. Now on the right hand side, you can see how the ad actually looks like, okay? You can see exactly how it looks like. So it's very subtle, very simple stuff. Then just click on finish and you have your lead form and click on place order. Then you are basically done. So that's how you set up the Facebook lead ad the 2017 way. Now, once a person actually clicked on the ad, gave you the information, there are two ways for you to actually get your leads. One is you could go to your ads manager and click on lead form. There's a link that you can download. The other method is that you can actually go to your Facebook page, and this is a little bit of a hassle. Go to your Facebook page and click on Publishing Tools. When you click on Publishing Tools, you're gonna see a menu that says Forms Library. When you click on it, you will see a list of your forms and a download button, and you simply just download it. So one of the flaws that, I, that Facebook um, lead ad have is that it's not automated. The lead doesn't go anywhere. It's just stored in your account. Unless if you actually have a software that's synchronized with everything. Now for us at iPro, we actually built something called Leads Tunnel. It's the number one way to automate your Facebook lead ads. What happens is that when a person actually click on the Facebook lead ad and click submit, those leads are now automatically added into your autoresponder. And we have over 24 autoresponder and webinar platform that we are fully integrated with. So if you guys want to automate the entire process where you don't actually have to go and click and download and then upload it to your email list provider, which can be a big hassle and it will trigger double opt-in and then it will have a lot of people that's hot, uh, losing the hot leads because they haven't list, uh hear from you right away, then you're gonna lose out on that lead. So if you guys are interested to learn more about Leads Tunnel, just go to www.leadstunnel.com and you'll see what our software can do and it will automate the entire process for you. So that's really it when it comes to Facebook lead ad. It's not rocket science, it's very easy. You just have to follow the steps, um, the steps correctly to set up the form, to set up your ad and all those other stuff. Now, obviously if you, um, are stuck on anything and you don't and you really want to automate the system look at leadstunnel.com and you're going to actually see a lot more on how we automated the entire process so once a person actually sub, uh, submit inside the facebook lead form um, we actually send them an email directly to the customer to give them the product and start selling them all the other stuff so that's really it for facebook lead ads if you guys have any questions or any comments please feel free to comment below on my Facebook, uh, on my YouTube page. And most importantly, if you guys wanna learn more about Facebook ads, Google ads, how to run an online business, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.